Hello, good day. Welcome to HOO Basics. Before we proceed on part 2 of this tutorial, just to remind you that you need to plug your access point to your network from part 1 video to access the internet. Welcome back to HOO Basics. This is the part 2 of our tutorial, we will do the unboxing of Ubiquiti Nano Station 5 AC, and we will do the configuration as station. On this model, we need to purchase separate PoE adapter. PoE adopter has a reset button at the back. Connect your device from PoE port on the adopter. Connect LAN to your computer. Then go to your computer network settings and change the IP address to 192.168.1.2. Then click OK to save. Open a web browser to open the device web interface. Then type the device default IP address, 192.168.1.20. Click Advanced. Then click Proceed. Select Country, Language, then Confirm with the Ubiquity terms. Create username and password, confirm your password then save. Go to wireless tab. Select channel width to auto by selecting auto on stations, 
When you decide a reconfigured your access point then your station will reconnect automatically without manually reconfiguration. Click select under SSID to choose and connect to your access point. Your station is scanning for available access point. You have two options here, lock to a P or select. I do recommend to choose select, because if you lock your access point and if you need to replace it, your station will never connect to a new access point unless you configure manually. We have a problem here, we are not able to select any of the options. If you encounter the same, just reskin and choose other available a P then click back to your target access point. On wireless security, type your password. Then go to Advanced. Turn off Calculate EIRP limit to set the maximum output power to maximum if needed. Please note. Check the required or allowed output power in your country. Review your settings then save. After saving, go to your network tab and choose either bridge or router mode. I chose and recommend router mode to easily manage your clients. On router mode you can set your client's wireless router to DHCP, and they can have a full access with it. In case of trouble you can just assist your clients by phone, that you can't be done if you select bridge and PPPoE. On router mode, turn on NAT to access the internet. Then turn off block management X's to remotely access with your ubiquity station. You can disable IPv6 if you don't need it. On LAN network settings, set your LAN local IP address. Enable DHCP server and assign DNS servers and disable IPv6 if you don't need it. Then save your settings. After saving, you will be disconnected to the station. Change your computer IP address to DHCP to acquire IP address from your station. You are now connected to the internet and to your station. As you can see your DHCP server is your Ubiquity Nano Station 5 AC. Now you can connect to your Ubiquity Nano Station 5 AC on its local IP address. You are now connected as client.
On actual field installation, you can adjust the output power based on the distance. Now setup is done, you can connect wireless router for your clients to access the internet. From station you can access your access point settings. To secure your access point you can change the access port. Please refer to my next tutorial on how to secure your network. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.